from Eurogamer says Assassin's Creed Shadows developer on adapting Japanese culture, social media pressures, and Ubisoft's controversial apology. Of course, we're making creative choices. It's a video game. A lot of Japanese people are upset. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that they don't care. Ubisoft says that we, we, we are doing really, really good. Take a look at our numbers for uh, Star Wars Outlaws, right? Come on. It's so good that Star Wars Theory is, pay is playing the game. <laughs> right? Yeah, that, so, that's another subject. Yes, I know Star Wars Theory is in a lot of um, controversy recently. But yeah, well, not him. In particular, the people who are after him. But yeah. Yeah, man. See, uh, the world of Assassin's Creed Shadows is beautiful at Gamescom 2024 in Cologne last month. Ubisoft reframed from providing a fresh chance to go hands on with its highly anticipated upcoming epic. For that, we'll have to wait just a little bit longer. Instead, the publisher gave press a look behind the scenes at more of the game's visual prowess via presentation on shadows, environmental upgrades and new graphical fidelity. Ubisoft's vast virtual version of Japan features the first Assassin's Creed made solely for the current gen consoles and then looks apart with dense forest and towering mountains, dynamic weather, and shifting seasons. The game's exact technical specs are still to be confirmed, but I was impressed by its clear upgrade from other Assassin's Creed's games past, particularly in its eye-catching smaller details such as rain running realistically down bamboo guttering for stalls full of fruit you can topple sending their contents scattering across so basically they're basically sucking their own dick they're they're basically a bunch of jerks standing in a circle jerking yep. each other off right now yeah did you see the most recent assassin's creed shadows world trailer that I'm not sure. I don't think it's the one that I tweeted. That was uh, like showcasing their engine, like the how realistic the physics are. So probably not. I this seen. might be the same one. Let's see. So oh, right over here, Assassin's Creed Shadows World Trail. Look at the like and dislike ratio over down over there. Seventeen thousand <laughs> to seventy thousand. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have not seen this. Let's watch I this together. Not, I, I, yeah, I have not either. All right, let's watch this together right over here. Okay, I'm going to pause really quick. It it looks good. At most, it's not something I've, I haven't, it's, it's not like I haven't seen this before. I've seen other games that looks way better. For instance, Black Myth Wukong on like, I've seen Black Myth Wukong playing at highest, like, like graphics mode. Like, it, and it looks beautiful. This game sort of looks flat right now. What do you think so far? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, I don't think this should, yeah, Ubisoft is not focusing on, what's important or what people are looking for in Assassin's Creed games. Like they wanna they wanna go back all the way to the first game or the second game, that kind of style of gameplay with because yeah they did that with Mirage, but the thing is with Mirage it's too easy. It's super they put in a lot of modern stuff that made it way too easy. So they're not no I don't think everyone's wants to play an Assassin's Creed game for the absolute absolute visual spectacle. Like this trailer's apparently marketing. They yeah. people want the gameplay, the story. They actually respect the source material, of uh, you know, as and not put a black character where they're not, they're not supposed to. That's yep. what people want, and, and you're showing this where it's like you said, like you don't play Assassin's Creed. You think it's just okay. So what are you really hoping to achieve here? Like you you already got ratioed, and you're not really addressing any of the concerns of the players. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of lukewarm on this too. All right, let's continue. Yeah, that, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I saw that one on Twitter. That one I saw on Twitter. <laughs> so this is it. This is it. Okay, okay. Now I know. <laughs> okay, chat. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, look at the horse. Yeah, the horse is fucking floating. 
Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is a trailer about showcasing the graphics, the the prowess of the engine, and that's what you show. Here we go. Here. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, and they're so they're so proud of it. It's like check, check take a take a look at this. Black Myth Wukong is better, man. Yeah, it is. Black Myth Wukong is way better. Ninja. Is it is it me or like the characters look really like not detailed? Like it doesn't like like I'm gonna go back to some of like the up close shots. Like, uh, like look, look look how flat this looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so U Ubisoft is not like they they like to highlight like the environmental stuff but when it comes to models they're the model of the characters it's really not that good even for a while now like it, it's always been like that but yeah again they're focusing on the wrong things on like what they think people would want and they're not listening to the actual stuff like i, I keep saying the story the gameplay and everything yeah. like yeah, that, and that should be that should be the last of their priorities. Because and you mentioned the... this before, right? Like, like people don't like the graphics. It's you're already reached a plateau of how good graphics can look. Nobody cares about graphical fidelity. It's all about gameplay, and we're not getting a lot of it, right? Like the the, the one that we got was like the one that came out during uh you know summer's games fest, and yeah. it's 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 mid at best. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just a shittier version of Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, exactly. And it didn't help the fact that the they mixed in hip hop music, so yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're you're not doing any favors here. Yeah, it's gonna yes. be an interesting November launch. Yeah, someone like... someone said in the chat, uh, Baldur's Gate three had a lot more detailed facial expression. Yeah, especially when they're having sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, like who's like who's actually excited for this game, right? And yeah. the thing is, I, I have there's a video that Asmund Goat put out, and I want I, I want to watch it with you. Have you seen this one yet? Which which one? Probably not. Prob I I did watch this Veil Guard one yesterday. Like it's, it was the, it's the it's the Ubisoft botting situation. Oh okay. Uh no, probably. All not. right, here we go. This is only a two minute, 33 seconds. And this is Asmund Gold uh, talking about the, that exact video that we just watched. Look at the Assassin's Creed Shadows World trailer. It's full of bots. Bot comments? No, it's not. Let me take a look at it. Um, let's see. Not y'all turning into Japanese historians. We all watching the same trailer. This looks incredible. This has been botted without a shadow of a doubt. I'm 100% certain that it's been botted. Okay, so let's go ahead and investigate this right now. So if you look at every single positive comment, they are within 4.9 to 5.1 thousand likes. And every single one of them is being made by an individual with a first name, last name, number combination. So not y'all turning into Jap. Now, here's, here's the thing. I've, I've yeah. seen stuff like this before, also on like Twitter, right? They have like one to two followers, account just created like three days ago or yesterday. And they're and and you know and they're not following anyone, and if you go because you can actually go to these people's accounts. When you go to their account, they're not following anyone. They're not subscribed to anyone. They're not. They don't have any activity. Hmm. Hmm. Now here's the thing, though. Uh, I have a lot of bots following my own personal Twitter account. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are like, here's a link to my OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't ban Elon Musk. Don't ban those bots. It's because I need my followers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. 
Japanese historians. Ashley Skinner, 5311. Another four hours ago. It feels like you're not pointing out every historical detail. You get criticized for being a Ubisoft bot. When did you all get the degree in history? Can I just enjoy this game without being a history nerd? And this is, again, Stephen Burgess, 3023, four hours ago again. Are we all watching the same trailer? This looks incredible. Four hours ago. Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, they could never make me hate you. Four hours ago. Okay, now that all the weirdos are gone, can we normal people, people, that's a good one, um, discuss how beautiful <laughs> this game is. I love that they went with dynamic weather. I love when games do this. Lamar Lewis, 4018, four hours ago. All right, so basically that's he, he goes on and talks more about all the comments. Now, I want to go back to the actual original video that we're talking about, and I, wanna, I want to go down. Yeah, let's go down. I don't, I don't see the bots anymore. Yeah. I think they got caught. I think what happened is they got caught. Right? Like, I don't see the bots anymore. Like, legit, I don't see a bots anymore. Because they, if no, those, well, guys, I, like, which one, oh, wait, which you, one? You, you guys noticing? Oh, okay, okay. The one with the 7.6. Oh, right here. Yeah, the seven, yeah. But the thing is, I don't see the actual oh, yeah. bots anymore. Yeah, yeah. Right. See, like these over here. Like, imagine being a quadruple A company and then needing to do bot comments. Right. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if these guys are real too. Right. At least these that they, they're on like pretty girls, like all like hot girls or anything like that. But I feel like they got caught and they deleted their bots, their bot comments, mm -hmm. because if you have like four thousand, five thousand likes, they should be near the top. Yeah. Look at the guy that said it. If you look. If you scroll, if you look closely, most positive comments have 5k likes, has a pretty girl, pretty girl okay. DP. Yeah. Account created a month ago, no replies, all posted at the same time. Channels have no content. Exactly. Like all of them are gone. Right. Yeah. And this is 100% a botting situation, which is insane, man. But yeah. The thing is, uh, yeah, 16,000 uh, likes are all botted, 63,000 likes are the real people. But yeah, I think that's pretty funny because I actually tried looking through it and I don't see any of the bots anymore. I think they're all gone. Yeah. Never pre-order. Invest, uh, investing money into real historian. No. Investing money into fake bot reviews. Yes. Right? It's because they... The reason why companies do this is because they want to feel like they are right. Right? They want to be like, oh, we're... Look how good our game is. So they, you know, they go ahead and bot and, you know, making sure like, people on Twitter, people on Instagram, TikTok or whatever. I'm not sure about TikTok, but like every other thing make it sound like it's trending. It's trending on Twitter. That means it's good. No, it's not, man. Most of them are bots. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, it's... um. Now, you you said that you have Ubisoft Plus, right? Nah, nah. I did, uh, I, I'm probably not gonna cover Star Wars Outlaws. At least not yet. I'll probably cover it at bargain bin prices. And, and review if it's worth it at that price. From, but same with, same with this game. It's like there's too many games for me to cover in October for me to be able to make it to Veil Guard and to this one. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.